Well, as an actress, I've seen the gush up close and it's not pretty. Guy just gets locked into an ejaculation and doesn't stop until he's dead. For me right now, I think the biggest problem, and my biggest fear, is uh, the gush. First person who ever got the gush was Dean Dorsey. And I've seen the clip. And he's doing the snot shot. And uh, suddenly there's this like look of real panic on his face. And he's staring down at his prick and he's whimpering, oh my god, oh my god, like this, like a sad voice, freaky clown, with the tears in his voice, but they are not there. And it is tragic. Oh, they tried throwing ice on his balls, they, they tried to destimulate him with a dog carcass, but the guy just kept popping the protein. The next guy was Mickey Wunklanger, who got the gush filming Rimnasium 7. It took him three days to die, all the while he was firing the fuck juice, and when they weighed his body, it was maybe 20 kilos, which is no more than two or three squirrels. Guy with a gush is suddenly in big demand for cream scenes all over town. They've got these special agents for it. Trying to cram in as many jobs as possible before the spunk turns red. It comes out red and then it goes black. And that is when you better make sure you're not piling the pearls into St. Peter's dress. <laughs> because uh, in the reality of Seven it is tragic. There is no way of laughing at this with your own cock. And this is why I will only do soft cock now, which is where you push it in with a thumb or a little spatula called a winkle poker, and it is flaccid. And the soft cock is not fun, it is like trying to tighten up a screw with a maggot. And when you have to like stay soft as a mouse in a big sexy twat, it is tricky. But in the end it is better than clutching your nuts, everybody's going to pieces, pulling out guns for a mercy clipping and all your intestines is mushed out through your balls.